first i want to say like i want you guys to know why it is important to build an email list number 1 money is in the list there have been many studies done where your income will be in direct proportion to the size of your list so what does that mean let's say you have a list of 1000 people that means that almost if you do the right thing if you um if your audience is the right audience and if you're giving the right message and you have the right offer you will have at least a thousand dollars every month coming minimum from your list if you are providing your services again like this is like thousand dollars like so one dollar per uh per list i'm just saying it as a, a relevant score where depending on the number of offers you make the more money you get but you need to have a list first all businesses need an email list so when you start a business you want a domain and you start creating an email list there are like google's advertisement or in gmail right so gmail has these advertisements ads that revenue has gone up double and triple because people are investing into advertisement on email people think that i should not advertise or like send message to email because it may go into spam or it may go into junk mail etc if you do the right thing and if you nurture your leads you are able to get good uh, structured messaging and you are able to get more results so it's very important to focus on emails so this is a clear example like last year almost a year ago we had facebook was down instagram whatsapp all of these were down and it was not hacking it was like their servers had issues and a lot of other pieces went down so it brings us to the point where social media is something that you don't control you don't belong uh, like you don't own that and if it is down so many businesses had issues because they were only focused on social media so out here you need to have diversity into your audience um where you want to reach them through social media through email through your website and other avenues mm-hmm. here um so myspace is gone like we know right the social media uh, structure uh google plus that's also gone facebook could go away too instagram could go away too but your email list will remain with you because you are going to you're owning it and people will have that email so i know people like who still have their hotmail accounts even though people have moved to gmail and other structures people still have yahoo mail accounts aol accounts why because they have the contacts who are still reaching out to them on those emails so it's important to have emails and the email list um structure and the last piece right so this is a very good stat where if you see the emails your average open rate is almost like 20% while on facebook you have 6% reach which was in 2014 now it's even lower on twitter it is 8 to 10% so what i'm trying to say is email has better open rates and visibility rates than you being on social media social media is very important i do a lot of business through social media but you need to have a good email list and that is what this whole messaging is about so these are the five reasons why you should have this is one big reason why what i have seen is these algorithms could change but if you do two things very well right like if you have really high content like that you are producing all the time you will have good results and if your audience within these uh, networks are always engaging and are the right audience so like what i've seen is most of the people don't engage because the message is not for them and if you're still posting to those members and they're not liking commenting or engaging with your post you will not get good results so mm-hmm. a lot of people like they say that you should scrub your email list they say you should scrub your social media following as well where you want the right people to follow you you don't want friends and family who may not buy your products to be in that social media like a uh, network you may right. want to have a separate because facebook allows you to have a separate list of friends and family and then like those the message that you send to your audience for your coaching business you don't need to send it to your friends and family because they may not buy the services from you and you'd rather get the engagement from those lists so you need to really scrub your social media list like you have to scrub your email list as well